all right i want to solve this particular uh, problem on building drawing and um what i want to actually do here is just to work on the front elevation and the sectional view of this particular building drawing um, i'm not working on the plan as i said and the reason why i want to work on the front elevation and the sectional view is just that this type of roof that we have is different from the one that i've worked in on before so the one that i i did before the type of roof that we're given there happened to be a gable roof Why this one is a parapet or flat roof so that's the reason why i want to work on the front elevation and the sectional so that you can see the difference between the uh the front elevation of a building with gable roof and that of the parapet or flat roof and the difference between the sectional view of a building with a gable roof and that of the parapet or flat roof now before we uh before i begin to uh, talk about what we have in the building plan and then we look at the specification let us look at what the instruction says so that we can know what we are to do and here we have that figure 2 shows the section plan the sketch plan of a twin two bedroom bungalow study specifications and answer the questions that follow that is the instruction that we are given here so this uh, plan that we have here as we are told in the instruction is a building plan of a twin two bedroom bungalow what do they mean by that on the right side here oh sorry on the left side here we have a two bedroom flat and on the right side here we also have a two bedroom flat on uh, on this building plan that you see here so what we uh, we want to do here is that we want to produce the front elevation when we are looking at the building in this direction when i'm looking at the building in this direction we want to produce the front elevation and then we want to produce the sectional view so i'm going to divide this video into two we are going to have a video on the front elevation and a video on the sectional view okay now before i come uh, before i talk about what we have in this building plan let us look at the specification this is the specifications we have the specifications here and for the front elevation that we are producing what we are going to make use of here we are going to make use of the of the uh of these specifications or dimensions for the uh for the floor level the distance of the floor level from the ground level which is 150 millimeters and then the floor to ceiling height 3100 we are going to make use of that then we are also going to make use of the windows we are making use of the windows i will tell you the reason why we are making use of those things that i'm mentioning so we are going to make you make use of the specification for the windows which is just for w alone we are not making use of w1 and then we are also going to make use of the specification for the beam for the beam as we have here so we have that for the beam we have 225 by 225 reinforced concrete at 2100 above floor level and then we are told that beams are located at the entrances into veranda and passage so i will show you those things in our drawing or in the drawing then in the veranda we have 75 cylindrical hollow aluminum pipe fixed at 50 above 1000 high dwarf wall so i will show you that when we are working on it then we also make use of description for the roofs and uh, for the roof then here we have 25 beaten moss first roof finish we are not going to make use of that we don't need that in the front elevation then um we are making use of 150 reinforced concrete slab we are making use of that then 300 by 300 by 75 parallel concrete coping placed on 1100 high parapet wall so we are making it make use of the thickness of the coping with the height of the dwarf wall then we are also making use of its projection which is 900 millimeters this 25 deep roof gutter we are not making use of that in the uh, in the 
uh, in the in the in the elevation. So then the scale that we are given here, we ask to draw to a scale of one ratio one hundred the floor plan and the front elevation. We are not working on the floor plan. So if you don't know how to uh, draw the floor plan, when you are given the line plan of a floor plan of a building, uh, for you to make it a solid plan, go and watch my video on how to draw the floor plan for uh, when you are given the line plan. So go and watch my video on that. So whatever you see there is also applied to whatever you are to do on this one. So what I just want to do here is to show you how you can draw the front elevation of a building with parapet or flat roof so that you can see the difference between that of the gable and that of the flat or parapet roof. That is the reason why I want to work on this. Okay. Now, so let's go and look at the, uh, the building plan. Let's look at it. So in this building plan, this is the building plan. We I want to draw the front elevation now. Distance from here to here, distance from this point to this point is sixteen thousand. So we are going to divide sixteen thousand by hundred, and that will give us one hundred sixty millimeters. And then there is something important that I need to show you here. So uh, apart from this sixteen thousand that is placed here, we don't have any other dimensions written here. But we can study it from here. Here we have that distance from here to here is. 4,500 from year to year is 3,500 from year to year is 3,500 from year to year is 4,500 no now this time from year to year is 4,500 you follow it from the from from here down so this time from year to year is 4,500 from year to year is 3,500 from year to year is 3,500 from year to year is 4,500 so what we are going to do is that we are going to when we are looking at this building in this direction, in this direction, we are going to see the edge of the wall here and the edge of the wall here. We also see the edge of the wall here because we have a veranda here. So we are going to see the edge of the wall at this point, the edge of the wall at this point, and there is a wall that is separating the two apartments, which is this wall. We are going to put these things in place. So let's look at how this is going to be done before i move to how you can do it or how you can draw this and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel you need to subscribe so that and then put on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and then tell your friends about this particular youtube channel where you see how the work is really done this is not an animated work this is done with the use of the instrument you see how i handle all the instruments in carrying out the work so subscribe like my videos on the on youtube and then share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students tell them about this particular youtube channel let them come and learn and you too as you are watching and you are you are as you are watching learning you need to practice so that you can be good at this particular subject now let's look at what you want to do now the first thing that you need to do here is to draw a horizontal line so this horizontal line is going to represent our ground level line our ground level line then move away a little bit and draw a vertical line around here so draw a vertical line like this then as we are told that as we are told that the as we are told that the distance between the ground level and the floor level is 150 millimeters so we divide 150 millimeters by 100 and that will give us 1.5 millimeters so take a measurement of 1.5 millimeter just make it two millimeters so take this distance and draw horizontal line again so draw horizontal line from here to here like this all right so after you have done this we have that the floor to ceiling height is 3100 3100 by 100 will give us 31 so from this floor level line take a measurement of 31 millimeters up 31 millimeters this is it then draw horizontal line from here so draw horizontal line from here then the length 
of the building the length of the building from year to year is 16,000 16,000 by 100 will give us 160 so take a measurement of 160 millimeters from here take a measurement of 160 millimeters this is 15 150 that's 150 then take 10 so that make this give us 160 millimeter so draw a vertical line here draw a vertical line from year to year and let it go up a bit all right so then the next thing that we want to do is this i want to work on the roof before i put the remaining part to it here in the building itself so i want to work on the roof itself so let's look at the specification for the roof so that we can know what we are to do now for the specification for the roof we have 25 bit more fed roof finish we don't need that in the front elevation then we have 150 reinforced concrete slab so we are going to make use of this 150 150 by 100 will give us 1.5 then we are making use of uh what we have here um 300 by 300 by 75 parallel concrete coping placed on 1000 uh 1100 high parapet wall so this 1100 we are making use of it so divide 1100 by 100 that will give us 11 millimeters 11 millimeters plus 1.5 will give us 12.5 millimeters 12.5 millimeters so from here so from this point here take a measurement of 12.5 millimeters take a measurement of 12.5 millimeters so this is 12.5 then draw a horizontal line so draw a horizontal line then the thickness of the coping this thickness of the coping on the on the on the parapet on the parapet is 75 millimeter so 75 millimeters by 100 will give us 0 0.75 0 0.75 0 0.75 let just let me approximate it to one millimeter so we take a measurement of one millimeter and we draw a horizontal line from here so draw a horizontal line from here like this so we have what we have this the line is not okay All right, so the next thing that we are going to do here, so the next thing that we are going to do here is that we, for the east projection, east projection is 900, 900 by 100 will give us 9 millimeters. So from this point, take 9 millimeters to this side. So 9 millimeters to the left, and here also take 9 millimeters to the right. So here we draw so we draw a vertical line I can make this a thick line now so make this a thick line then we come here also we also draw this so we make this a thick line this line I will also make it a thick line from year to year make it a thick line and this line also I'll make it a thick line okay then this line make it a thick line from year to year also this line make this line make it a thick line from here to here and then this line will also make it a thick line from here to here all right so um so that is for the roof that this how the roof is going to look so the next thing that we are going to do here is that so don't forget that this is our ground level line. The first line that we drew is the ground level line. So we have what we have this. 
so this is the floor level so let me write here this is the floor level line second line the second horizontal line is the floor level line so this is the floor level line so the next thing that we are going to do here is that as i said in the as i said in the plan for this wall here we are going to see the edge of the wall here we are going to see the edge of the wall here and then we are going to see this wall standing this wall is standing on its own we are going to see it so and the distance from year to year is 45 from year to year is 45 and then from year to year is 3500 so what we are going to do is that so i will take a measurement of 45 millimeters from year to year and then from here take a measurement of 45 millimeters from year to year so here i will draw a vertical line so this vertical line is going to be a thick line because it's for the edge of the wall is for the edge of the wall and i will do the same thing here also for the edge of the wall then the wall that separates the two apartments the distance between the distance between this one and this one is 700 700 by 2 that is 35 so here i have 35 so the thickness of the wall is uh is 22 uh, is two okay let's look at it in the specification uh, i know that we have to add 225 plus plus 13 so here we have that all was 225 with 13 mortar rendering on both sides so if we add this together this will be 238 so 238 by 100 will give us 2.38 so 2.38 so from here so just take it as two millimeters from here i will take one millimeter to this side from that center line and i'll also take one millimeter to this side then i'm going to draw a vertical line here so i'll draw a vertical line here then here also i will draw a vertical line okay this is the wall that separates the two apartments okay so when i'm looking at the building in the, this direction so uh the the floor level here will be inside the building so i will not see it so we are going to show it hidden we are going to show it hidden so from here i will put short dashes line like this so this is a floor level and it's inside the building so we can't see it outside we cannot see it outside so that's why we are making it a hidden line here or with those short dashes line so the same thing applies to this okay all right so that is what we have here so the next thing that we are going to do is that um okay now so let's put the dwarf wall in the veranda there's a dwarf wall in the veranda as we are told here so veranda we have 75 cylindrical olo aluminum pipe fixed at 50 above 1000 high dwarf wall 1000 high dwarf wall so if you divide 1000 by 100 that will give us 10 millimeters so what you need to do is to come here so take a measurement of 10 millimeters from here take a measurement of 10 millimeters from here so this is 10 millimeters so and so draw your horizontal line like this and here draw horizontal line the other thing that we are going to put here is that um in the veranda so in the veranda here um in the veranda here so we have okay i want to show the book okay we have entrance from here to here this entrance from here to here is 900 millimeters 900 millimeters uh why did i say 900 millimeters if you look at it um for the for the entrance for the door to the rooms so it has the same size as the size of the door or the wideness of the door 
to the rooms which is 900 here we have 900 so 900 by 100 will give us 9 millimeters so take a measurement of 9 millimeters from year to year so this is 9 millimeters and you come here also take a measurement of 9 millimeters from year to year so this is it so draw a vertical line here and also come here and draw a vertical line here all right then we have a 75 cylindrical hollow pipe fixed at 50 millimeters above the above the dwarf wall so first of all we take that 50 millimeters so that 50 millimeters 50 millimeters by 100 will give us 0 0.5 so let's take it as one so just come here take a measurement of one millimeter take a measurement of one millimeter and draw a horizontal line like this so draw it on this side also all right so then we have a cylindrical pipe on it a cylindrical pipe on it of thickness 75 millimeters so 75 by 100 will give us 0 0.75 so just take that as one millimeter so take a measurement of one millimeter here one millimeter so draw horizontal line from here and also draw horizontal line here also so then uh, we are going to make this line we are going to make them thick so we make this line we make them thick lines so so make this a thick line here and you also make this a thick line so for the pipe also so we have to make this a thick line then we make this one also a thick line so here we make this thick line like this okay then i need to make this a thick line this also will be made a thick line so this pipe is standing on something it's standing on something here so it enters into the wall this also enters into the wall so but the end here will be standing on something so uh, that will be a small matter so it will be standing on a small matter here so i'm just going to put something here like this i'll move a little bit and put it here so here also i will do the same thing here so it's resting on a small matter okay so and then the around this place around this place we have what we have the floor the floor level cannot be seen here outside here so i have to make this with short dashes line so you can see this floor level you can see the floor level here so i have to make this with short dashes line and then here i will see the floor level here so this will make thick Likewise, this should be made thick, so I can see the floor level here. So that is what we have there. So, um, so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are told in the beam, so beams and lintel. So here we have beam and lintel. So beam 225 by 225 reinforced concrete as 2,100 above floor level, and beams are located at entrances into veranda and passage so there's a beam around here there's a beam around here and distance of the beam from the floor level is 2100 2100 by 100 that will give us 21 so i'm going to take a measurement of 21 millimeters up here so then i will draw a horizontal line from here so this is going to stand for the beam so i'll make this a thick line so i'm going to see the edge of the beam so this will be a thick line here this will be a thick line the edge of the beam so we see that here so that's how it's going to look so you see the edge of the beam then the next thing that we have here that we are going to put in this drawing is so let's look at the plan so here we are going to see a window there is a window here there is a window here 
then we are going to see this window this window in the veranda so this window lead to this bedroom this window leads to uh, is for this bedroom this is for this bedroom so we are going to see this window and this window this window and this window then the specification what is dimensions of the windows so here we have w w the height is 1800 and the width is 1200 the height is 1800 the width is 1200 and we are told that all the windows are casement glazed in metal frame casement glazed glazed in metal frame that is the description of the windows so now what we are going to do now is that um since this is 45 millimeters this is 45 millimeters from year to year so i will divide this 45 by 2 that is 22.5 so that is 22.5 okay so i have this 22.5 so from here so i will take a measurement from here so i will take a measurement of six millimeters six millimeters to the left and six millimeters to the right then I project a vertical line here okay there also I will draw a vertical line like this then I just move up a little bit so move up a little bit like this then I will draw a horizontal line here okay so draw a horizontal line there so after that so the height of the window is 1800 1800 by 100 will give us 18 millimeters so this is 18 millimeters so i will draw a horizontal line here and for the frame so i'll take one millimeter here here also i will take one millimeter here and here i will also take one millimeter here one millimeter here then So I'll draw this as a horizontal line. This also I'll draw it as a horizontal line. Then here I will draw a vertical line. I'll draw a vertical line here. And here also I will draw a vertical line like this. Okay. So um, I want to draw this window. So I'll pause the video while I will work on the remaining ones so i want you to see how i'm going to do this okay now the, the next thing that we are going to since it's a casement window we should be, it's going to be in pair to be two so i'll just come here in the middle here i will divide this 12 millimeters into two divide this 12 millimeters into two so that is six millimeters so then i will draw a vertical line here so just move away from this middle so i'll draw a vertical line here that is what separates the two uh, windows here okay then i'll make this a thick line from here to here so make this a thick line make this a thick line so i make this thick line I also make this a thick line then this we made a thick line from here to here and I make this a thick line from here to here so I make this a thick line I also make this a thick line from here to here all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to show that is a glass window so to show that so i put the symbol for the glass here okay 
all right so here also i will do the same i'll also do the same here all right so that is the window on this side so i'm going to repeat the same thing here we also have two glass that we can see here so when i i will do this one and then i'll come back and show you how you are going to put this one because we are not going to see the whole of the window here because this beam as cover is going to cover part of the window the windows that we have here and here all right so i have put the second window the window that we have here you can see these these two windows and then so the windows that we have here they are of the same size as the ones that we have here so uh let me show you um so in the building plan so we, we have this window and we have this window here so we are going to put them around here so this is how we are going to what we are going to do so since they are the same size as these windows so i'm going to transfer this to this side so i'll transfer this also to this side then so i'll transfer this to this side then i will also transfer this to this side all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is to take their uh, dimensions the dimensions so i just um so looking at what we have there so i'll just take like so from here i just take like five millimeters five millimeters then i will take 12 millimeters so this is 12 millimeters and then so the midpoint of that is where we have six here so uh, we do this the same thing here five away from here then i will take 12 millimeters from here so this is 12 then six here so i will draw a vertical line so here i will draw a vertical line here from here also so i'll draw this so it's not everything that we show here it's not everything i will show you here so for the frame and also this is also for the frame so i believe i'm just um, okay so it's not all the whole thing that we show here so i will complete this one and then i will do the next one while i pause the video so we are going to make this distance from here to here is going to be a thick line from here to here will be a thick line and from here to here it be a thick line because the beam has covered part of the the beam and also the dwarf wall here has covered part of the window so this is all that i'm going to put here then i will show that this is a glass window so this is a glass a glass window All right, so I will do the main one. So and then, so I'll come back. I will talk about it. All right, so this is the front elevation of the building. This is the front elevation of the building, and this is how the roof will look uh, if it's a parapet roof. I, I think this roof it looks like that of the double roof when we look at it in the form of the front elevation so they, 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 they look alike so when i produce that of the sectional view the roof will surely uh, the roof will show very well so and it will show that it's a parapet or flat roof to differentiate it from
from that of the Gabu Road. So this is the front elevation of the building. It's as simple as I've shown it here. You need to practice this and then uh, make sure you subscribe. As I've said, you should subscribe and then put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Don't forget to tell your friends about this particular YouTube channel and keep on practicing. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you.